The only time I visited a communist country was when I went to Poland in 1980, not long after Margaret Thatcher's conservative government was first elected in Britain. The first thing that struck me when I arrived in Warsaw was the refreshing lack of the oppressive advertising hoardings that seemed to be taking over most of the available space in my own country. I didn't understand a word of Polish and the few advertisements that I did come across rarely contained any images of products, so I remained blissfully unaware of their intended messages. The facades of shops made an even more striking impression on me, as I had no idea what most of them were selling. Their signage was unintelligible to me, and their windows rarely displayed the goods that were for sale inside. More often than not, the windows were filled with objects that had been placed there for purely decorative purposes. So entering shops, first through their closed doors and then through the thick winter curtains hanging inside, was always an adventure. When looking for a grocery store or a tobacconist, I could just as easily find myself in a hairdresser's or a hardware shop. This was something that I really appreciated. I loved the absence of the hard sell that pervaded everyday life in capitalist Britain. I loved the fact that the shops contained no decadent luxuries and that there was so little choice. Most Poles that I spoke to did not agree. While I extolled the virtues of limited style options in the shoe shops, they seemed to be obsessed by Western democracy. I could, of course, understand their support for the fledgling solidarity movement, but why did they sing the praises of Margaret Thatcher? I had several conversations where my own idealisation of communist Poland was matched by a Polish idealisation of the capitalist West. In autumn 1997, shortly after Tony Blair's new Labour government was first elected, I visited the former East Germany for the first time. Eight years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, Leipzig was a prosperous city that was starting to look much like its counterparts in the West. But unemployment was high and the divide between rich and poor was getting ever greater. A friend told me about a new East German aphorism that was going around. People were saying that they could see a tunnel at the end of the light, 